A massive inter internet forum devoted to the issues of privacy and surveillance has taken place in Stockholm. However, all the leading whistleblowers, including Edward Snowden and Glenn Greenwald, were blacklisted from taking part. Even WikiLeaks representatives were banned. So, the move has caused a storm on Twitter, which has been rife with sarcasm and anger towards the conference's organizers. Users were left wondering how it's even possible to carry out an internet forum without inviting the most prominent defenders of internet privacy. And to talk more on this issue, I'm now joined live by Kristen Hraffenson, a WikiLeaks spokesperson and investigative journalist. Uh, Mr. Hraffenson, welcome to RT. Uh, the organizers actually gave some answers as to why these people were not invited. Let's now take a listen together. When we started the Stockholm Internet Forum three years ago, we had uh, two criteria for, for the invitations. The second criteria we had that, was, that we should strive for gender balance. And uh, here I must admit that we have not been entirely successful. We have um, seen it as important to not to look into the whistleblowing process as such or to the revelations as such. What we believe we should do is to discuss how can we find solutions in order to protect human rights in, a, in an environment where surveillance is a, re a reality. So what do you think about those excuses? Well, I don't think they're very credible. I mean, how can you uh, discuss uh, the, the problems of the Internet uh, and the dangers of mass surveillance there without analyzing the problem and actually inviting the people who are experts in the field? Uh, this is a, a forum that is sponsored by the Foreign Ministry of Sweden, uh, headed by Carl Bildt, the Foreign Minister. And we have known uh, ever since 2011 and 12 that uh, they were not interested to have any uh, elements there that were critical of the United States uh, government and the uh, activities of the U.S. agencies. We were blacklisted, and I mean WikiLeaks and people associated with WikiLeaks, uh, back in 2012. And uh, yes, they do have a blacklist now. They deny it and, uh, and actually humorously claim that they don't have a blacklist. They only have a list of people that they have invited and a list of people they have not invited. But that is a blacklist and, and that has been confirmed. It uh, doesn't surprise me if you look at the revelations, both by WikiLeaks and by Edward Snowden, uh, you see the role that Sweden plays uh, behind this facade of neutrality. They are uh, basically the, the lapdogs of the United States government. So basically you think that this incident undermines the whole concept of the conference, right? Well, of course it does. I mean, how can you? How can you exclude WikiLeaks? How can you exclude Edward Snowden? How can you exclude discussing the explosive revelations by, by uh, uh, these important whistleblowers that have stepped forth in the last uh, few years, uh, totally uh, changing all, uh, the entire perception we have of, of the Internet uh, and raising serious questions uh, of the future of the Internet? If you want to discuss uh, Internet freedom, you have to have these elements there. And uh, briefly, if you can, uh, Mr. Kraffensen, uh, does this event signify the rising pressure on whistleblowers across the world, you think? Uh, the, uh, this is a, 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 we are going to see more whistleblowers and we're going to see more revelations about the Internet. And, uh, but unfortunately, that's not going to be just discussed in Sweden. They are going to be uh, preoccupied in finding markets for their weapons uh, and the weapons export. All right, Christine Hraffensen, uh, investigative journalist, uh, thank you very much indeed for sharing your views with us. We appreciate it.